hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm back again with another repair video today i'm gonna repair this t-motor velox 55 amp uh, 4 in 1 esc uh, which is sent by nisala he managed to kill one of these uh, motor outputs let's figure it out what happened uh, with this esc rest of escs are working only uh, one esc uh section uh, doesn't work well uh, so let's figure it out what's wrong with this one i'm not gonna feed the power this moment i'm gonna check uh, whether we have any shorts uh, on any motor outputs let's check using uh, multimeter my multimeter is in continuity mode let's first check the positive leads no short there's no short on this uh, section and let's check with the negative okay look at this we have short on this uh, uh, fourth ESC section yes uh, these are the MOSFETs, these are the responsible for motor outputs. Let me explain the working procedure of this type of 4 in 1 ESCs. Uh, this is the main inputs, and it's going through this uh, shunt resistor, and it will straightly go to this. Uh, you can see there are two voltage regulators, actually, three. Uh, these are the two 12 volt regulators uh, and it's passing uh, 12 volt to this voltage regulator and it's processing 3.3 volt uh, output and in the meantime both are sending uh, 12 volt and 3.3 volt to this uh, switching regulator and you can see there are uh, so many power filters around the ESC let's uh, let's see the other side and you can see uh, we have four sorry uh, this uh, we have four MCUs the bigger one and we have four four of uh, MOSFET controllers MOSFET driver uh, the bigger one is the MCU and smaller one is the uh, MOSFET driver and we have six MOSFET for each motor output uh, three in this side and three in other side the duty of these MOSFETs are uh, converting DC to AC power and it sends uh, AC voltage uh, via this uh, pins basically the MCU processing some data according to what it's get from the flight controller and it's processing some data and send it to the MOSFET driver then the MOSFET driver passing some data to uh, MOSFETs mo these mo this MOSFETs and it, uh, the MOSFET converting uh, DC signal to AC and it's powering up via the pads uh, so that's the basic procedure of this type of ESCs now I'm gonna check what's the exact uh, MOSFET uh, what we need to gonna work with. So yeah, we had a short in this section. So I'm gonna check the MOSFETs now. Okay, we have a short here. Yes, we have a short in this. MOSFET let's check the other MOSFETs as well we shouldn't have any short in this line here look at this we don't have any short we shouldn't have any short in this section as well but we should have connection in this side yeah so this is the output side we have a short on this MOSFET what I'm going to do is uh, 
remove this MOSFET and we have uh, another donor board this uh, this one also the same board uh, velox 55 amp which has some bad mcus uh, i'm gonna keep it keep this as a donor part for further repairs so i'm gonna uh, salvage a mosfet from this board and place it to this uh, board currently we are working with okay let's remove this uh, mosfet using water station before that we need to add some flux it's easy to reflow all the lead free solder I'm randomly picking this uh, salvage MOSFET. Okay, before placing a uh, uh, new MOSFET, uh, replacement MOSFET, uh, we need to prep the pads. Okay, now we are ready to uh, solder the new replacement uh, MOSFET. Okay, this is the replaced MOSFET uh, now uh, we need to clean up all the excess solder Okay, then now my repair is done. Let's clean up the surface using some alcohol. Okay, now everything nice and clean. This is the uh, replaced uh, MOSFET. Now we can recheck the shots again. Uh, we had a shot with the negative probe okay we didn't have a shot we don't have the shot anymore uh, that shot is gone uh, so this is the bad MOSFET the replaced one the removed one this is the bad one let's throw it away and now we have the uh, re repair DSC uh, let's now I'm gonna uh, test the ESC okay I fixed the ESC to my bench card this is, uh, this is my testing card and let's solder the uh, mode outputs
I fix the ESC to my bench card. This is my testing card and connect it to the flight controller. And it's time to power it up. And you will hear the beep. Yes. Okay, you can see all working as expected. yeah so my repair is done for today so now we have working uh, for in one ESC this is uh, T motor Velox 55 amp ESC so yeah I believe that you have learned something from this video you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any uh, broken stuff to donate me for repair videos I'm really appreciate for that and yeah i'm gonna sign off now and stay tuned for more repair videos bye bye